Uh, it should be at the Intel blog here at IFA 2013. There's a whole lot of Ultrabooks, a whole lot of bloggers, and a whole lot of uh, testing and stuff going on at the back here. We've even got a little studio where Sasha Pallenberg, our old mo uh, Meet Mobility friend, is doing his uh, podcast. What I've done is um, I've come here to a little section of the booth. It's got the Lenovo Helix, and I just wanted to, to talk a little bit about uh, the Helix, the design, and Haswell. As you can see, it's, it's doing some updates at the moment, so I'm not going to show you too much about it, but it's pretty much about this, this, this hinge here. So let's just pull that out. You know the Lenovo uh, Helix. This is the core-based uh, tablet with the Full HD uh, screen. It's pretty thin, pretty light, and it has pretty good uh, battery life. Um, and it's got the base that's got the, if you just look at the back there, there are the fans in there. Now the reason is because this is a tablet built on Core, well this one is a Core i7, what I call a full fat Ultrabook uh, processor. It's not the Y series Ivy Bridge, it's not Haswell, and it's not Y series Haswell. And that's the thing I think we need to talk about is that this is now old generation and that the new generation is actually going to do away with a lot of this fan business going on here. Now the new generation of Y series may not be as powerful as you know this full fat core Ivy bridge but um, there are going to be some uh, Y series that are going to uh, have turbo boost which is going to bring it up into this area of performance. So. While the Lenovo Helix design, this two-in-one design, this dockable design, I believe is the way, the way forward, I think what we'll see over the coming year is that that sort of mess here, and certainly the fans inside there, will, will go away. You will see the, um, the processor doing its own work in terms of controlling the, the thermals on the tablet. You take a look at the Zoni Vio Tap 11, which we, we don't have here, but actually I've got... Um, Lenovo ThinkPad uh, here. The, the Tab 11 is about this size, slightly bigger in terms of screen size, but about this thickness. And that's got the Y Series Core Haswell in it, and it weighs 780 grams. It's a pretty amazing bit of engineering. So scale that up to 13 inch, and you've got maybe 900 grams of tablet, um, which in tablet mode could actually be uh, fanless, i.e. the fan will never come on when it's undocked. The fan can come on when it's docked and you won't need this uh, this business down here. It will control itself nicely. So while the ThinkPad Helix design I think is the way to go, this two-in-one removable design is, is really the way to go, Haswell is going to change the way that that is made. So what I'm hoping for is that uh, Lenovo update the ThinkPad Helix and bring us something two-in-one with detachable on Haswell pretty soon. I don't want to see a Haswell update of the Helix. I want to see a new design. Lots of other stuff here. We've got the uh, X1 Carbon. We've got the uh, Lenovo uh, Flex here, which has got that 270 degree uh, uh, screen that uh, I won't do now. Moving along here, here's that uh, fantastic uh, Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro with a huge 3200 by 1800 screen. It's got a 52 watt hour battery inside. It weighs just 1.3 kilos, this thing weighs. It's a 13 inch screen, beautiful keyboard. And we reckon the battery life on this is gonna be six hours of you know working time, six to seven hours of working time on this, which is absolutely phenomenal for a, a 13 inch device. There's more over here. There's a whole load of uh, bits and pieces and bloggers working, of course. There's the uh, bloggers. There's a MacBook Air, no, an Ultrabook, a few other bits and pieces as well. And, ah, yes, this is what I wanted to show you. There's the ThinkPad Helix. There's the new Sony Vio Pro 13 inch with Haswell. Incredibly light. I think it's 1.1 kilos. It's one of the lightest 13 inch laptops there is out there. Again, strong battery life because of Haswell. There, there's another Pro. There's the 9 Plus, which is really, really is the competitor with the, the Pro, and perhaps that uh, Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro at the back there. They all sit in the same sort of bracket. Panasonic AX with the dual batteries. There's the uh, Haswell-based XPS 12, and this one is the new Toshiba, uh, I think it's the U30 or the U50, or is it the W50T, which is a kind of a budget two-in-one. 
and actually, you know, we were talking about uh, moving from Ivory Bridge to Haswell. It looks like um, Toshiba need to think about, you know, Y-Series Haswell and just slimming that down a bit. Uh, yeah, price points are also a question when it comes to that. So, um, that's just uh, a little talk about that uh, ThinkPad uh, um, Helix there. Hope we'll know update that. My name's Chip Yamahi for this week. I'm at IDF next week. So make sure you keep following on my YouTube channel and on Ultimate News and UMBC Thanks for watching.